What's up guys, this is DJ Cool CH. This is my first video breaking anything. I am a professional DJ. I am originally from New York City. I now reside in South Florida. I love music. I love sports. I love life. I collect a lot of things. I am a cancer and that's what we do. We collect. Recently I had a small fire in my house and my old baseball collection was rescued. I had not seen those cards in almost 20 years. 2018 I started collecting again and I found uh, a couple of channels that I follow here on YouTube. The Jabs family is uh, this guy Eric from Pennsylvania who really really loves collecting cards and makes you love it too. And so now He's inspired me to a lot of things, and now he's inspired me to get my own YouTube videos up of me breaking some stuff. So, not terribly exciting, but I hope you guys enjoy. This is a 2018 update series. Tops. Tops now has cornered the market. As in, it's just them with the license from Major League Baseball and the Players Association. Panini has the Players Association license for cards, but they don't have MLB. So if you get any Panini baseball cards through Dunruss, who they brought up, you'll get the players. You'll get any Yankee cards. I'm a Yankee fan, obviously. You can get an Aaron Judge, Miguel Andahar, Gleyber Torres, and it'll say their name, and it'll say they're playing in New York. But in the actual picture, you will not see the New York Yankee logo. You won't see any MLB logo. And you won't see the logos on the uniforms. It'll be... It'll look different. It'll be shop, chopped up or gift out or whatever on the card. Anyway, enough of the hot talk. Hope you guys start following me. Subscribe to me. I promise the camera, the videos will get better. The stuff I put up will get better. Let's get to this, huh? Let's see what we get in here. Regular tops, baseball update. I got this from my local hobby shop. My homeboy hooked me up. Not terribly expensive, 10 bucks. You can get two exclusive legends and the making cards inside. Yay. Amongst the other odds and ends that you could get in here. An autograph and relic. Let's see what kind of uh, stuff we get out of here. Now, uh, people are still hot on Shohei Otani, who won Rookie of the Year over my two Yankees, Miguel Andahar and Gleyber Torres. I agree with the voters, even though I'm biased and Andahar had a full season. What Shohei did... No one else has done since Babe Ruth. So, this comes packaged like that. That's the security sticker. This is supposed to be a retail pack. Well, it's supposed to be a hobby pack, but it looks like it's retail because Target has the same ones. I've been buying a lot of from Target this year. So, let's see what we got here. Mike Foltonelitz, can you guys see that? I'm sorry, this is my first video, so I will get the angles and the right camera equipment. This is off my iPhone. This is his all-star uh, card. I think this guy's going to be a big horse for the Braves. Mike Foltonelitz. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, Mike, but I will get it right. I do think you're a stud, though. Teoscar Hernandez, pesky guy. Pesky to the Yankees, at least. Ozzy Albies, this guy right here. This is his all-star, second base for the Braves. The Braves are going to do damage next year. And I think they will advance beyond what they did this year in the playoffs. This is, uh, says it's a rookie card. All-star edition. Aldemis Diaz. 
Shane Bieber. I wonder if that's Justin's. That's his rookie card. That's not Justin's brother, but I heard for Players Weekend, his jersey said not Justin. So that's pretty funny. Andrew Kashner from the Orioles. Daniel Palka, rookie card, White Sox. Jordan Lyles. George Springer. This is an all-star card. Dustin Fowler, rookie card. I believe this guy belonged to us and he broke his knee. One game playing for us. I believe so. I believe he was a Yankee rookie. I get him confused. Daniel Mengden, another rookie card. J.A. Happ, who we just re-signed, who was awesome for the second half of the season for us. We got him from the Blue Jays. Great trade deadline guy. This guy definitely handled it in New York. Red Sox got to him in the playoffs, but what are you going to do? He got us to the playoffs. Javier Baez, this guy's a beast. Home run derby card. This kid right here, man. Natural, natural athlete, star, second base, wherever you put him, he's going to do damage. And at the bat, he's only getting better. Neil Walker, the veteran. I will always associate Neil with the Pirates, but... You know, he may not have hit high average for us, but he, he came in the clutch second half for us. He was a solid backup. Ian Gomez, this is another all-star card. I didn't know he made the all-star game for the Indians. Oh, Jan Gomez, my bad. It's not Ian, it's Jan. Leonis Martin. Jared Cole, who came from the Pirates and is a savage with the Astros in his first year. Let's see if he continues. Jesse Biddle, Biddle, rookie card. Tony Chirinos for the Rays, rookie card. Matt Harvey, this guy right here. <laughs> the audacity to call himself the Gotham Knight. Please, the Mets kicked him out of town and they should have. This guy's a hot air balloon, if you ask me. But that's a personal opinion, not a professional opinion. Derek Rodriguez, rookie card, son of Yvonne Rodriguez. I think this kid's got not only the genes, but he's got heart. I saw him on Sports Center in the highlight show, and every time I saw a highlight of him, I just saw him looking not scared of the big show. So hopefully he has a good year for the Giants because they need some pitching. Jonathan Scope. Didi's homeboy. This guy signed, I think, with the Twins this year. He was an Oriole. Big uh, best friend of Manny Machado. Uh, this guy's a solid player. He did not do what he was supposed to do for the Brewers, but hopefully have a bounce back year for the Twins. Mark Kanha. Outfield. A's. Okay, a Bryce Harper home run derby card. Bryce won the home run derby. He is not signed as of yet. Let's turn this around. Dylan Cousins, rookie card. I'm not familiar with this little Philly guy, but he sure he has cousins, and that's a cool way to spell cousins. Daniel Robertson, another pesky hitter from the Rays. Jonathan Lucroy, this guy's a solid catcher. All-star, solid guy. Pedro Strope. Manea, no hits the Red Sox. Yeah, one of the incredible features of last year's season. That Red Sox team, the best Red Sox team ever. And this guy no hits them. So let's see what else he's got in the tank for 2019. I think he's the real thing. I don't think he's a one-time guy. Roberto Osuna, rescued from the Blue Jays by the Astros. He had that domestic violence thing. Let's see if he can get past that and uh, become a solid player again. Brandon McCarthy. Jack 
Reinheimer, rookie card. I'm not familiar with him. Good luck to him in 2019 for the Diamondbacks. Garrett Cooper, rookie card for the Marlins. I live here in South Florida, so this is my second team, especially since Jeter is now running it. As a Yankee, I have to root for them. And Mattingly, my favorite player of all time, is the coach. Brent Suter. No relation to the Hall of Famer, Bruce Suter. We got here. Michael Soroka, rookie card. Reese Hawkins, rookie card. Uh, home run derby. Reese is going to be... Uh, a leader for a while in Philly. Phillies, uh, they still haven't signed Bryce Harper or Machado. They say they're in the running, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like anyone's really running to Philly for it. Bryce Harper just had a meeting yesterday, I think, there. Let's see if they sign him. With Reese Hawkins, they got already. So, and he's a great player, I think. Danny Valencia. Paul Goldschmidt. Just signed with the Cardinals. Well, traded to the Cardinals. He's got one year to see if uh, they give him a big-time contract. This guy's solid. All-star. Always in the MVP uh, voting. I like Paulie. Arizona to St. Louis. Ha-ha, the Big Bambino. A Babe Ruth insert. This is... What is this? Legendary All-Stars insert. I'm a Yankee fan, so I'm always going to love this. You know, I don't buy these cards to resell or anything like that. Like I said, I had a small fire in my house this past year. And um, of the things that got boxed up by Fire Rescue, some of the boxes that got uncovered uh, or recovered was my old collection. I'm 48 years old. I've been collecting since I was 7, 8 years old. I used to get cards and I used to flip them. In New York, we used to flip them which is a game where you just put cards on top of each other and then you can take the stack when your card matches the color of the card previously put down by the guy you're flipping against. And then eventually, as I got older, I started uh, curating my collection, but I stopped when I was 21, 22, which is like 91, 92. And uh, those last years in the late 80s and 90s, I swore all those cards were going to be worth so much money. Who knew they were making 3 million copies of each one, right? Ken Griffey Jr. cards and all that stuff. Oh, they're not worthless, but they're not worth what they were hyped up to be then. Anyway, I'm glad to be back in the hobby. And uh, technology now allows us to share our videos with um, the community. And some of us are purists. I am a purist. As of right now, I'm collecting just for my collection. But I do like to share. I love um, Eric Jab's videos, Jab's family. You will not be disappointed if you subscribe to this channel. Anyway, international affair, we have Raphael Devers, the Red Sox. Boo, right? These are our natural enemies as a Yankee fan. But you know what? This kid can rake, and he's a world champion, and I give it to them. They had a great season last year, and they're going to have another great season, and it's going to be a tough competition for the American League East. But I think we'll get them this year. Anyway, this is another insert, International Affair. Rafa is Dominican. I am Latino. Another International Affair. This is Gif Negope. This kid, oh, this is a one of two ninety nine. So that's cool. A one of two ninety nine. Now this kid right here, he is from Africa. Exactly where in Africa? I'm not sure, but he's South African. He is... The only South African major leaguer, but he is also the long native of the continent to reach the show. He is the first African player. All right, so he's a gift to us, right? Sorry if I'm getting the bad angles. Like I said, this is my first video. One of two ninety nine. Who we have here? Don't blink. It's Lou Brock, the original Ricky Henderson. St. Louis Cardinals. This guy broke Ty Cobb's uh, stolen base record in the season before Ricky Henderson came along and helped the Cardinals to a few World Series. Hall of Famer Lou Brock, 3,000 hits. 
900 stolen bases. Tyler O'Neill, 83 throwback uh, rookie card. Uh, Luke Weaver, Legends in the Making. Miguel Sano, he fell off in 2018. What happened to him, huh? Big bopper for the Twins in 2017. They sent him back to the minors. I don't know if they've released him, but uh, hopefully he gets it back together. Because he, he uh, was doing some damage in 2017. He was a pretty dangerous hitter. So maybe he's got to work on his mechanics. Launch angle. Maybe he got into the launch angle thing, which I'm not a big fan of neither. Big hit or miss now. Oh, man. Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig. Wow. Lou Gehrig is uh, one of the greatest ball players of all time. Not alone one of the greatest Yankees, but the original Iron Horse. The famous speech he gave. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS. He died of that. He was the first one or the most famous one. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, if you're diagnosed with ALS, you're diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. He died at 38 years old. He's, uh, I don't believe if he caught ALS, he probably would have Babe Ruth type stats because he only played 17 years. But anyway, Lou Gehrig, I love this card. It may not be worth it much at all, but still. I'm glad that Topps is bringing the old school guys because if there's any new kids collecting cards... They can get cards of the older players. This is something that most of us in the 80s and 90s were not getting. Not until the mid-90s they started redoing uh, old cards and bringing them out. Or old players. Max Stassi. Freddy Peralta rookie card. A lot of rookie cards in this update. That's what's up. I like that. Colin Moran. Let's see if you see that guy. Carlos Gomez. This guy's always a riot, right? Always something about him in a game. Can't seem to step out of the spotlight. David Hess and Pedro Araujo. Hmm? You gotta excuse my neighbors. So I got some loud neighbors sometimes. Brian Flynn. Kansas City. Man, they fell off. Philly Fives. I don't know. Philly's card here. Philly should have another good year. Felipe Vasquez. Pirates. Juan Lagares. New York Mets. The rivals in my hometown city. Mets made some pretty good moves this year. Mets fans have nothing to complain about. Robinson Cano is in the building. Glaber Torres rookie debut rookie card. All right. Glaber Torres. We got him from the Indians in the Araldis Chapman trade. No, from the Cubs. We got him from the Cubs in the Araldis Chapman trade. We got Clint Frazier from the Indians. Anyway, Glaber had a pretty good year. <clears throat> he could definitely hit. He's just got to figure out if he wants to be solid at second or if he wants to follow his natural talents at shortstop. I believe he could be a solid second baseman, and he just needs to uh, he needs to call Willie Randolph, <laughs> and Willie will set him straight at second base. The kid could rake, though. He could rake. They didn't think he had the power that he showed, but he could rake because most of his home runs... Not all of them with the right field, and he's a right-handed hitter. It's kick and hit. I'm expecting a big year from him in 2019. Rookie debut, Nick Kingham, Pirates. Eric, you must know who this guy is. I do not know who he is. Corey Kluber, the Klubot. A bunch of trade rumors all went along, but Cleveland must be crazy if they get rid of him. I mean, you got him and the rest of that pitching staff, you have a chance every year to make the playoffs. Why would you ruin that? Why would you mess with that? And that offense they got, 
Max Muncy, this guy, came out of nowhere. Home run derby. I don't know if he made the all-star team, but, you know. But, you know, he's for me, he just hits a lot of home runs, and he's another one of these launch angle guys. You know, strikeouts and home runs. I'm not, I'm not sure where I feel about that right now in the game. Sung Hwang Oh. He probably is Korean. Sung Hwang Ho. Bartolo Colon, still alive. <laughs> still pitching. This guy. Steroid scandals. But, you know, he's still there. He's still putting the ball over the plate. Don't know if he retired this winter. I think he's got one year left in him. He is now the winningest Latino pitcher, I think, or he tied Juan Marshall. Either he tied him or passed him that season. But if he plays this season, he'll definitely for sure be the winningest uh, Latino pitcher. Dominican, Bartolo Colon. Jeffrey Marte. I am not familiar with this man. Tyler Chatwood. Dan Otero. Juan Lagares again. This is a. Is it the same card? Oh, that's my dog Snoopy. Snoopy's got a problem because he hears me talking, but I'm not talking to him. And there's nobody else in his room, so he must think I'm going nuts. Dimer Candelario. I am not familiar with this tiger. It is not his rookie card. Zach Britton. We just re-signed him. Zach. The white Dominican. He wants to be a Yankee. He signed with us. He's going to be get paid a lot of money. David Robertson signed with the Phillies. Like I said, the Phillies are making moves. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get a full year of Zach Britton healthy. And he could throw that nasty stuff he throws. That sinker. And he could hold down the seventh inning for us. Because we've got uh, Dylan Betances in the eighth. And Araldus Chapman in the ninth. Taylor Davis, rookie card, Cubs, catcher. Not familiar with him. Brad Hand. I think he was on the Padres, and they traded him to the Indians when, the, when Terry Francona was having trouble with the bullpen in the middle of the season there. Everything was falling apart. A lot of blown saves. So Brad Hand, I think, I think he was an all-star for the Padres, and then they switched over to the Indians. John Lester, this guy's a horse. Horse for the Red Sox, horse for the Cubs. All-star card. Dominic Leone. And Fran Mill Reyes. Rookie card, Padres. I don't know if this is one of the touted uh, Padres rookies. Anyway, that's it for that break. Not really much. Got that one of 99 of, uh, who was it? I forgot already. Please forgive me. This is my first video. You guys, uh, thank you for letting me waste 24 minutes of your time. Hopefully better lighting, better camera work on the second uh, and future videos. Take care. Have a good 2019. Happy New Year, everyone. Peace.